In this video, you are shown how QuickBooks can automatically track your sales through the tax feature. It's important to emphasize that the first step you perform when setting up your QuickBooks account is setting your country's tax details. You will be unable to go back and edit or delete a tax agency at a later date, so it must be set up correctly at the start. If you are using QuickBooks Online in Mexico, Malaysia, Singapore, United Arab Emirates or South Africa, a default set of GST or VAT codes are created for you automatically. To turn on tax tracking, select Taxes on the left menu and select Set up tax. Set up the tax agency details such as the name of your tax agency, any official tax number that has been assigned to your company, your reporting method, how often you file your tax to your agency, and whether this tax is meant for sales or purchases. You should also check the box to be collected on purchases and then purchased tax is reclaimable. Then select next. Once these details are entered, click got it. Once sales tax is set up, you'll see the tax center. Also, you'll see a tax or GST column on your sales and purchases forms. Next, it's time to add the tax rates. If you need to change a tax rate, create a new tax rate rather than editing an existing one, as this could affect existing transactions and sales tracking. From the tax center, select Add Tax. Choose which type of tax rate you want to set up. Enter the details of your tax rate. Select Save when you're finished. Please note that once a rate has been created, you cannot delete the rate. If you need to change that rate, deactivate the rate and then create a new one. To do this, go to the tax center and use the side arrows to find the tax you want to deactivate. Click on Edit Tax Rate in the top right corner. Click on Edit Rates. Under Action, click Edit and then click Make Inactive. Importantly, you can't have two rates with the same name, so ensure you rename the deactivated rate to something else. Then, make a new tax rate with the correct name. You can also add Group Tax. From the Tax Center, select Add Tax. Select Group Rate and then select Next. Enter the group name and description. Select the tax rate where it applies to net, tax or both. You can also add more tax rates to be grouped by clicking Add Tax Rate. Once you've entered the necessary details, select Save. Remember, you must set up your tax preferences as a first step when using QuickBooks. Now, get started.